All right, what's up? What's up, YouTube? What's up? I'm gonna give it about three minutes or more, see if I can get some people to come on in, and then I'm gonna show y'all exactly what I do to um pretty much season my cast iron pots up. So one thing that I'm gonna do, y'all gonna see me look down. Um, my head will be pointing down, so I'll be reading some of the comments on the computer right down here on the screen. Then I got my camera up here and. This is definitely one of those lives that I'm trying out, y'all. Trying to see how this thing goes. All right. Y'all work with a brother. Hey, 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 Black Diamond. How you doing? Say you a first. You better be first, Black Diamond. What's going on, Kip? How you doing? How you doing? Glad to see y'all here. It's 80 people here in the building right now. And I see that some people didn't already didn't hit that thumbs up button. If y'all are able, please, pretty please, hit that thumbs up button real quick. All right. So this is what I'm going to do today, y'all. I'm going to show y'all, as you've seen on the description, you know what I'm saying, um, how to season up your cast iron pots. Now, right behind me, as you can see right here, I got some of my cast iron pots, and I have a few more cast iron pots in my stable, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know about y'all, but, you know, this is one of the smaller cast iron pots that I do have that's seasoned. If you can see the glistening on it, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's seasoned inside and out. I like this one. I love this one, whatever the case may be. And this is another one that I do have that I'm pretty much working with. You know what I'm saying? As you can see right here, the person that had it last pretty much didn't take care of it. So what I'm doing now is trying to recondition this one because I'm definitely going to be doing something up in this one here. All right, and last but not least is my old trusty goody best friend in the whole wide world. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all pretty much see me cook on this a lot of times between this one and the um, other smaller one that I do have. So I love these here. All right. So with those three, those three cast iron pots are already seasoned out. So let me just acknowledge some of the people here right now. Um, Jeannie, how you doing, Jeannie? She say, what's up, Ray? How you doing? Everything is well. Um, what's this here? Aaron, um, good morning, Ray. Hey, how you doing? Um, Sharina Williams, hey, how you doing? How you doing? All right. Um, who we got, Anita? Hey, Anita, what's going on? Good morning to you, okay? Um, Anita Walker. Hey, how you doing, Anita Walker? Two Anitas in the building. Dottie. Hey, Dottie. What's up, Dottie? How you doing? Cooking secrets for men. Hey, what's up? You love my channel. I got to go check your channel out as well. Sure enough. Sure enough. Sharon. What's up, Sharon? Um, MRTV. Y'all go do me a favor. If y'all like some good laughing or whatever the case may be, go over there and check out MRTV, man. They do a lot of mukbangs. It's a husband and wife duo, and I'm telling you right now, man, you will love that 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 couple over there, man. And um, please tell my man Cowboy what's up. <laughs> Cowboy be having me laughing over there on that channel, man. MRTV. If y'all can, please go check out MRTV. I guarantee you, you'll be laughing and smiling at the same time. Sharon Riddick, hey, how you doing? Nicole Taylor, what's up? Mom, how you doing? Mom said, I love Cast 9. You better say it, Mom. Hey, Kay, how you doing? Sally, 1959. Hey, Sally, how you doing? Andre, what's up, buddy? What's going on? Hey, Miss um, Ellie B. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? The Raging Cajun. Oh, oh that's, a, that's nice right there, the Raging Cajun. Where are you from? New Orleans or something like that? Let's see. Um, Who else we got? Purple butterflies in the building. That's my baby, purple butterfly. Purple butterfly, I love you so much. You, you know, you're the best mod in all of YouTube land, and I love you for everything that you do, sis. Thank you so much for continuing, man, to hold me down over here, and I thank you for it. I really do. I thank you so much. Cheryl Ross, how you doing? He says that baked um, rice chicken is the bomb. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully, man, you can try out some of my other recipes that's coming up. I'm not going to prolong this right now, y'all, because I'm just going to show y'all how I do my cast down, how I season up my cast down. So I got a new pot right here. Well, it's 
yeah, it's sort of kind of new. And I'm going to tell you exactly where I got it from or whatever the case may be. And I suppose we've been seizing this up for a long time, getting ready to use it. So I've been prolonging this here. So right now is going to be the best time to do it since I'm able to do it right now live with you guys right now at this particular point in time. I'm going to show you how to do it. So I got my oven preset at 480 degrees, okay? You can take it higher than 480 degrees, but it's I don't want to be smoked out all up in the house and draw in all that extra hot heat. So 480 is what I'm going to put it on right now, okay? So let me show you exactly what I'm working with. Yeah. Now, for one, I want y'all to work um, to bear with me because what I'm doing is that I have a, um, uh, I'm trying a new live setup and I need a longer um, UBS, UBS, USB cord so I can move my camera from point A to point B. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be moving around my camera and I'm gonna be pointing down or whatever the case may be until I'm able to get me a longer cord right now. And I thank you for the 120 people that's here right now looking at this here live and I greatly appreciate you. One thing that I want to say before I do get started, I hope that everybody is fine. I hope that everybody is well, you know what I'm saying? And thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you. But before I get started, let me do one more thing because I want y'all to hear me um, clearly because I'm going to be moving um, from this place to that place. But I want y'all to hear me real good. So just give me a few. I should have had this thing set up before I even got started. But, you know, sometimes, man, we get slowful in our ways. And I'm just talking about myself. I can't talk about nobody else. So let me just set up this little microphone real quick, y'all. It ain't going to take me no more than a, than a quick um, minute or two. It's going to be very quick because I want to make sure that you guys can hear me clearly. Right now, it's, the sound is going to be blanked out, but trust me, I'll be right back with the sound. All right, do me a favor. Tell me if you can hear me right now. Tell me if you can hear me, if you can hear me pretty good. That's all I need to know, if you can hear me pretty good. Can you hear me pretty good? Can you hear me pretty good? If y'all can hear me, just let me know in the comment section. You can hear me real good. All right, you say I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you so much. That's how quick it was. All right, so, all right, so I got the little mic now. If I'm, if the, if the, if I don't sound good at all, just let me know and um, I'll try my best to adjust it or whatever the case may be because I don't know, my hair might hit the microphone or something like that, my little beard or whatever. Mama Ray Ray is in the building. Right before I do this, y'all, let me do one more thing. If y'all can, please go check out Mama Ray Ray. Let me look up here. Please go check out Mama Ray Ray um, in the kitchen. Check out Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen. And I'm guaranteeing you guys, man, uh, you would definitely love this down to earth woman and she's awesome y'all when i tell you that she keeps everybody in the loop of what's going on on youtube trust and believe me this woman man she does that and i love her for it you know what i'm so if y'all can please go over and support mama ray ray in the kitchen all right and um I love you, Mama Ray Ray. It's good to see you. Good to see you, sweetie. All right. Who else we got up in here? Anita Walker, um, Erica, Nina. All right. Butterfly Angel. All right. Nicole Taylor. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So what I want to do now, I'm going to point y'all down. I'm going to point y'all down with, okay? If you can see this, um, hopefully everything is out of the way. The computer and all that. See, that I told y'all I need a longer cord. Let me see if I can do it this way. See if I can do it this way. I'm definitely going to get me a longer cord because I got to move here and move there or whatever. All right, so let me see. Would this be the best position? I don't know. I'm trying to see. Now, can y'all see this pretty good? Just until I can get me a longer cord, get my computer out of the way so y'all don't have to be bogged up seeing that. Now, is this pretty good for y'all? I'm doing all right. Thank you so much. Who said that I'm doing all right? Who said that? Joe, thank you so much, Joe. I appreciate you, Joe. All right, so this is what I got. This is my new cast iron um, Dutch pan right here, y'all. Now, 
Here's the thing about this one. This one is brand new, never been used, all right? Never been used at all. Now, I want to show you something. If you can see, we got a handle, a handle on this end, and the other handle on this end is missing, all right? The reason for that being is because this was found at Goodwill, all right? If you can see right here on the inside, there's a price, $14.99. This is what was paid for this here. A lot of the good stuff that I do have as far as cooking stuff, big shout out to Rita, to Rita um, Washington, Rita Winstead, Washington, that's my mother-in-law. She ends up finding some of this stuff for me, and then I just go ahead and pay her the money for it, and that woman is, is a treasure finder when it comes down to stuff at Goodwill. So this has never been used before. Found it at Goodwill, and I've had this sitting around for a minute or two now. And I said I'm gonna get, I'm have to get to cleaning this baby up and season it up. So the day is the day. I got to go ahead and season it up because I'm planning on doing some good things. And this here cast iron. Now, for a lot of y'all that know already, I love some cast iron pots and pans, and I will not turn it down for nothing in the world. So this is the first thing that I do whenever I'm getting ready to um, season up my cast iron pots, whether they are used or new or whatever the case may be, it's always the same process. You would take you some soapy water, OK, you'll take some soapy water and if it has a lid on it, if it has a lid on it, you'll do the exact same thing. Take some soapy water. You want to clean it down real good on the outside and on the inside. So what I did with this one, I already went and pre-washed it. All right. And th this way, whatever some of the um, pre-coating that's already on it, you can at least try to get some of that stuff off of it or whatever the case may be, because some of these pans come pre-coated if you buy them new or something like that. And even if you buy some of these pans that's already been used, you still want to do the same thing. Now, after I do that, I do the same thing with the lids and the bottom. I take some soapy water and wipe them down real good inside and also on the outside. Now, if you can look on this one, this is what I like about this pan. I don't know if you guys can see this real good, but you can see like how the bottom is pretty much got like a graded pattern or something like that. This is good because this is definitely, man, going to going to even out that heat. You know what I'm saying? It's going to spread that heat around throughout the whole pan. So this is something that I love on this particular pot. Um, with this particular pan right here, okay? So I could definitely cook with this on the stove or even throw it in the oven. Beautiful thing. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, now after you do that, all right, what you can do is you can take you some salt. Let me show you real quick. Um, do -do 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 -do. Let me grab, I should have had this already out, y'all. I'm gonna grab me some salt real quick because I don't want to use, yeah, there we go. There we go, right there. All right, so what I'm going to do is just take some salt and put a little salt in it. You know what I'm saying? Just a, For me, I already did this, but I'm showing you exactly what I would do, okay? So I got a paper towel. And some of y'all, if you want to use, like, some kind of, like, um, soft, um, let me show you real quick. If you buy you one of these little spongy things new, you know what I'm saying? New. You can do the exact same thing that I'm doing um, using the new one. And just keep that one for your cast iron skillets just for that particular reason. All right. And then now what I just have is, some, is a paper towel. And I just want to rub in some of this salt. And what this salt does, it helps remove some of the um, coating that's in it. And even if, you, even if you're cooking with this, you still want to do the exact same thing. Because if you're cooking with this, and after you finish cooking it, and you cleaned it up, you want to take some salt and just basically rub the bottom, the side, because this is like an abrasion. This removes some of the um, particles that's in that cast iron skillet. So you want to just get all up in that. You know what I'm saying? Now, once that's done, once that's done, you want to get rid of this stuff. So what I'll do, 
Um, a lot of us do this. A lot of us do this. A lot of us do this. We keep our bags from the grocery store. We all do this. And somehow or another, we throw them in the cabinet. How many of y'all recycle your 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 um, grocery bags, plastic grocery bags? If you recycle your plastic grocery bags, put an X right down there right now, if y'all don't mind. How many of y'all recycle? All right, your grocery bags. Jane, Cooking with James is in the building. Y'all go check out my man, Cooking with James. What's up, brother? How you doing? What's going on, Cooking with James? And so what I do here is I'll take the skillet, put it into a bag, and then I just hold it up, whether it's a skillet, pan, or whatever, and then I just scrape down the salt inside one of these here bags, making sure I get it all. If you don't get it all, don't worry about it. It's just going to add a little bit more flavor to your um, cast iron skillet. You know, this is why we are seasoning it. You know what I'm saying? It add just a little bit more flavor to your skillet. Now, we're just going to move that bag over, and I'm just going to keep that bag around for, like, um, future uses as far as throwing trash in it or whatever the case may be, and then go from there. All right, so our next step, after we've done that, okay, what I do is I'll take me... Now, they do have some stuff where you can buy. You can buy the stuff um, to season your pans and your pans and stuff with, with your cast iron stuff with. Um, you can find these at some hardware stores, some um, what Lowe's, Home Depot, or whatever. Walmart probably even sells some of this stuff in their cast iron section. If you just go to the cast iron section, you probably see some of that stuff. So you have a options. You can do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing that you could use which I do love on keeping on hand. Now, I don't know how y'all guys or gals might feel about this because some people are particular about eating this type of product or having it in their um, food or whatever the case may be. So, Lord, Lord, however you want to say it, pig fat. This is a good one to season up your cast iron skillet up with, all right? So if you somebody, man, who stay away from, you know, Hold on, let me put this baby back up. If you're that person who stay away from fat products, well, not fat products, but pig fat products, pig period, the best thing for you will be saving you some chicken grease. Now, here's another question. How many of y'all fry chicken in the up? Uh, well, fry chicken, period. But after you fry the chicken, you just throw the grease in the trash. How many of you do that? If you're that person, say I, because I want to say something to you real quick. If you're that person who fry chicken and you discard the grease right after you fry it, say I, because I want to share something with you real quick. So Vicky is one of them that does it. All right. And key, key, boy, I got the... KK, I want you to hit me up in the inbox on Instagram and you tell me your daggone name on the voice recorder because I'm tired of trying to sit here and pronounce that name. KK, when I when y'all hear me say KK, that's for um Kiara's Kiari Kitchen. Lord have mercy. I'll be butchering up that name for real, for real. All right, for all of y'all that throw away your chicken grease after you use it, let me share something with you. Stop throwing your grease away. If it's burnt, you toss it. If that grease is burnt, you toss it. You get rid of it. If that grease isn't burnt, listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Reuse your grease. I'm going to take this same grease and I'm going to fry some chicken tenders into this. I'm going to pour this in my skillet and I'm going to fry me some chicken tenders in that same grease. I'm going to get as much use out of that grease as I possibly can. The reason being because this still has flavor. This You can still have some of the best fried chicken, best fried pork chops, or whatever the case may be using this particular thing right here. Now, here's another thing that you could do. As far as for some of you, you people, man, who love cooking greens, vegetables, and stuff like that, man, and you want a power punch flavor, Take you a tablespoon or two of the chicken grease, 
throw it up in that baby, man, and there you go. Some people don't like pork fats in their vegetables, in their collard greens, their string beans or whatever, where you don't have to use the pork fat. All you have to do is take your chicken grease and substitute the pork fat. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to have some of the best. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. You're going to have some of the best tasting food possible. I'm just saying, y'all, because I'm country. I'm country. Country folk, y'all know what I'm talking about if you're country. So what I'm going to do with this here chicken grease, because some people don't like the pork. Just on, I'm just doing this for some people. And what I'll do is I'll take some of the grease, whatever I have on hand, fat back or whatever. Oh, here's another thing that you could do. You can put bacon in your cast iron skillet, fry some bacon up in it, and then use that grease to season up your cast iron um, pan. You can take some pork fat, like fat back meat or hog jowl or whatever the case may be, and you can cook it up in your cast iron skillet and let all that grease soak all up in it, and then you can still season it with that. You know what I mean? And then, like I say, I'm doing it the quick method. This is the quick method method. You know what I'm saying? Trey and Nene is in the building. Y'all do me a favor too. Y'all please go over there and check out Trey and Nene. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm telling y'all right now, Trey and Nene, they cool as a mother, boy. I love that couple, man. It's a husband-wife duo. You know what I'm saying? And they cool as hell. I'm just saying to you, that's all I'm saying. They cool They cool peoples, man. I'm telling you, man, they cool as a mother. So what I do is I take my grease, take a little droplet or two, put it in, now, I do this for the top and the bottom. Now, I season the inside. I'm not too worried about the outside. I'm not even going to season the outside of it. You know what I'm saying? Because some people, man, like they say, they'll take the whole skillet and they'll season all out here. You know what I'm saying? And all in here. That's fine. That's, that's cool and all. If you want to do that, that's fine. This helps prevent rust from building up on your cast iron skillet. I don't have no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do, because I'm going to end up probably just seasoning out this stuff later on the outside. Matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all the whole process. That's what I'm going to do. All right. So I got my napkin that I use with my little salt or whatever the case may be. And I'm just going to rub, rub this here lightly and rub the grease in here lightly. Get it all coated up. Don't matter how thick you put it, but you don't, you know, you just want to rub it all up in there. This is me seasoning my pants. All right. And the better the coating, the better the seasoning. So this would definitely, you'll be cooking some good food in your cast iron skillet, as long as you, you season this every time you use it. Every time. All right? The big no-no for cast irons is this. Never put it in the wash, uh, in the dishwasher. Never leave it submerged in water. Never. If you cook with it, go ahead and scrape out whatever it is that you're done with. Um, rinse it real quick with some hot water if so. Once it's all gone, then you come back and you can embrace it with some salt. You know what I'm saying? And then you hit it with a little bit more grease and do this right here that what I'm doing and slam it on up in your cabinets and it'll be ready for another use. All right. For your next use. So I got that one done. Now, this is my top. OK, like I said, I got this at um, my mother-in-law found this for me at Goodwill. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put a little bit more just a little bit on this lid. If y'all guys, if y'all can see this, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And then I just want to go ahead and just rub this down. This is seasoning up your cast iron. So if you never cook with cast irons before, cast iron pots or pans before, I'm telling you right now, it's a game changer, y'all. It's a game changer. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely a game changer. My grandmother, man, she cooked with these all the time. One thing that that woman could do back in the day, she could throw an egg in that cast iron skillet and fry that sucker without it sticking. 
Lord, how mercy. I'm about scared to do that because I, I, I had I have epic fails when it comes down to them eggs, frying eggs in the um frying in this cast down skillet. But I'm definitely gonna try to give it a go till I perfect it. But it all depends on how you are seasoning up your pan. So on the outer edge, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just take some grease and hit it. All you got to do is just come come with some good strokes. All right. That's done. Now, what I want to do now is take this on the bottom, put a little bit more grease. Let me get another napkin. All right. So I just want to hit it just with a drop, just a drop. This is the outer edge, just a drop. That's all you're gonna need. And just come on and run it. And just hit it on the outside. That's it. You don't have to coat the outside like you did the inside. The outside is just prevents, when you, when you season the outside, it just prevents your cast iron from rusting out. But, Whenever we are cooking, you definitely want to keep the inside of it seasoned. Now, our next step, see if I can turn you over here real quick. Our next step is going to the oven. I got my oven set it at 480 degrees. I want to take the bottom and I want to put it in. All right. Now, I want to take the top, and I also want to put this in. So I'm gonna do these separately. All right, so they're in the oven. I'm letting my oven run for at least round about a good two, I'm gonna let this stay in for at least round about a good hour, um, about an hour and 30 minutes and I probably end up running it another 30 minutes after that. It all depends on my likings of it. Now, like I said, when you're cooking, when you're seasoning up your cast iron skillets, all right, when you're seasoning up your cast iron skillets, you want to look for that dark texture that's um, coming from, that, that's gonna, form on that pan. The darker the darker your cast iron gets, the better it's going to get, okay? And let me do this real quick, man. Let me do this real quick. Hold on one minute, y'all. Let me just do this real quick. Um, who is this here? Food? Let me get it right. I can't see it. Food for food for the I can't get it. What's up, brother? I can see the picture. Hey, how you doing? All right. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures pressed down, shaking together, runneth over with the same measure you meet, shall be measured unto you again. Thank you so much, brother, for your liberal giving. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever you're standing in need of these days in 2021, I pray and I hope that you will prosper in everything that you do, whatever it is that you dream or set forth for yourself, I pray that every goal shall be met. Um, and I pray, man, that the, that the need will be met for you and your family. So thank you so much, brother, for your liberal giving. I really appreciate you. All right. One more thing that I want to show you guys while I do have you on here right now on this live. Let me um, get this cleaned up real quick. And I want to show you one more thing. All right. So this way I can knock out two birds with one stone. Okay. Let me go over here. I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, so I want to show you guys something right now. Okay, this would be a good opportunity to show you this real quick. And like I said, I, I can knock out two birds with one stone, showing you exactly how I season up my cast iron pots. And once again, like I say, for those of y'all who 
um, know my channel, whatever the case may be. I love cooking with cast iron pots. So I do have like a small version of a cast iron pot and I have a medium version and I also have a larger version of a cast iron pot. Now, for, for some of you man who love cooking with cast irons, I will honestly say, man, get yourself a cast iron Dutch pot if you can. And this one is seasoned up as well. I love this one. This is good for all kinds of things or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? And I have one more. <clears throat> and this is the baby of all babies. My little, my little mini me. I love my little mini me. You know what I'm saying? She, she blessed my soul whenever I uses her. So as you can see, Right now, man, this is my pretty much my collection of the cast nines that I use basically on a um, everyday basis. Everyone has a different job or whatever the case may be. You talking about making up some cornbread, some biscuits, some gravy, some gumbo, some whatever it is that you think you could do in a cast nine pot, you could definitely do it. You could bake you some cobblers. You could do some upside down pineapple cakes or whatever the case may be. There's a variety of things that you could do with cast iron pots now the thing i love about cast nine pots is, is they last forever if y'all don't know what i'm talking about somebody then and then already inherited their great great grandma's cast nine pot that's how long they last all right and somebody else did me a blessing so let me just do this real quick and um this this is um lorenzo lorenzo thank you brother give and it shall be given unto you good measures pressed down shaking together runneth over with the same measure ye meet shall be measured unto you again lorenzo walking your authority my brother i pray lorenzo man that whatever you stand in need of god will definitely come and meet your need thank you so much for that liberal giving brother i really do appreciate it may your family and along with those who hands you touch prosper thank you so much i really appreciate you so now i'm gonna knock out two birds with one stone the thing that i want to show you guys is this all right so I'm, I'm going to now finna try something that I've never tried because y'all know I love this. I love this. This is my thing right here. So I'm going to try these pans, which is some premium nonstick cookware. This is what I'm loving about these pans already. All right. This nonstick cookware. It reminds me of them. These nonstick cookware reminds me of these you see what I'm saying and let me show you this one right quick I'm gonna open this box up for you see if I can get you over here see if I can get you over here see if this will work how I can do this right quick so I'm gonna open this box up and see if you can see this so this is how it comes packaged out plastic all everywhere once you take the plastic up you just slide the top off of it and then pop your box or whatever. I'm knocking out two birds with one stone, showing you exactly how I seasoned up my cast nine skillets. And then now I want to show you something that I'm going to use in the future. And I'm going to see how these things turn out. And like I say, this is the non-stick cast iron pot. All right. And when I open up this here box, this is how it come packaged, okay? And you can just slide this baby right on out. Out of the box. Let me move the box down. All right. So, I'm just, just tickle pink about this stuff. Now, I like how they came and they packaged this because the lid has his own little um, bag for it, you know what I'm saying, with a drawstring on it. So if ever you was to finish, you know, using this, you know what I mean? And you could definitely, man, put this back inside um, the, the protective sleeve or the protective cover and draw the string back up. But I'm going to keep the box and all of this because I like the packaging, all right? And same thing with the pot itself. It, it has its own little bag, you know what I'm saying, with the drawstring on it. Now, this is what I'm loving about this non-stick pot. 
I've never seen one like this one here. Now, I love this because with these handles, if you look at the handles, it gives you that wood grain vibe. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I could get this closer, if you could see it closer. It gives you the wood grain vibe. It really does. Now, let me see if I can do one more thing just to see if you can see it out real quick. Well, I don't know. I don't think you can see it real good, though, like that. But, hey, can y'all see this real good? You see the wood grain on it? And see how they got the, the name of the company, the emblem, still embedded in it? It's a nice little nonstick pot. And I, I like this. I like this, man. You know what I'm saying? I like this. They built this man with with some <laughs> with some love. This is what I can tell you. And it gives you that cast iron look. You know what I'm saying? It gives you the cast iron look. And on the outer exterior is white. And on the bottom, if you look at look at the bottom, and it's not like other cast iron pots, if you could look at it, the heat looks like it spreads from the center all the way around. So when you do cook with it, you're gonna get a, a good heat distribution in this here product. I'm, I'm kind of liking this right quick. I'm kind of liking this already. Like I said, it's, it's no, it, it don't give you that plain Jane look in the kitchen. If you understand what I'm saying, this is like a pot man that you would be glad to cook in. So this is a like a Dutch oven almost. And if that's what it is, I don't know. Let me check again. So the, uh, this is the Dutch oven and you can do some stews, some whatever you like to do in here, man. And <laughs> hey, that sound, that sound versus this sound totally different now here's the thing this you can cook on top of that stove with this you can cook on top of the stove and you can put it in the oven you can put it on the grill or whatever the case may be this cast iron dutch oven now with this dutch oven i'm gonna have to do some reading and researching up on this one because I don't think I would put this one in the oven. You understand? But I would definitely cook with this on top of the stove. <laughs> I'm not a big, huge fan of nonstick products, but this is, this looks real good right here, y'all. This looks real good. Now with the lid, this is one thing I do like about this here lid. Oh. With the lid, look at the lid. You got the wooden handle appearance on the lid and it's white on the outside. You got the little vent for the little steam vent. And I like the little octagon shape that it has in the lid. You know what I'm saying? So it's that little octagon shape. So when you put this thing on your pot, this is what you got once it's on the pot. Now, I don't know. I'm, it's something about this lid. Hmm. Okay. So here we go. It's on there. Let me let me get you back down a little bit. If you can see this. Now, if you can see like the octagon shape that's on this thing. Now, a lot of us then cooked on top of that stove, whether we boiling potatoes, boiling greens, boiling rice, or whatever the case may be, and you got a lid on that thing, and that lid is tight, as tight as can be. What's gonna happen if you're cooking it, and all of a sudden, man, you know what I'm saying, cooking your rice and whatever, your potatoes, what's gonna happen with that lid on there? What's gonna happen? Somebody tell me right now, I'm looking at your comments, what's gonna happen? once you're boiling your, your food in, in a pot with the lid on it. Say, for instance, you're cooking the potatoes, the rice, or whatever the case may be that's in this thing and it's boiling. What's going to happen on the inside of this pot once that heat start to hit? There you go. It'll bubble over. There you go. It's going to bubble over. Now, with this, with this pot, what I'm liking about this, the design of this pot, if it start to bubble over, all you have to do is twist it. There you go. Set it just like that. That's it. That takes away your problem of, of your pot boiling over. That's it. Just set it just like this here. 
Now, let me show you what we're looking at. Hold on. Let me show you what we're looking at. See here? You got your open vents on it. You already got your vent hole. That's a plus. And then if it starts to boil over, all you have to do is just turn it to the side. A lot of times we'll take the lid off of it. And if y'all like me, I'm old school with this. I'm old school. If y'all like me, what I normally would do is I'll take, I'll take the lid off a pot and then I'll blow. <sighs> When I blow, that means, <laughs> I don't know why it does that, but hey, that's, that's my technique that I like doing. I take the lid off the pot and I blow, and then all of a sudden, man, the, the bubbles and stuff will calm down, and then I cap the lid back on it. But with this, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is that you'll just turn it to the side, just like that, all right? But I'm kind of liking this here. So with this, the packaging it back up, I can just take the lid, Put the lid back in his cover. You know what I'm saying? Put the lid back in his cover. And move that to the side. And then I can just take, this is once I done cooked in it, then cleaned it out and all that other kind of stuff. And I don't want to package up my cabinets anymore with no kind of crap. You know what I'm saying? Then I get this, the little styrofoam. Put it back over here on the styrofoam. Oh, I forgot my lid. Put your lid back on here in the, in the styrofoam. You know what I'm saying? You got everything back like it's supposed to be. You feel me? So y'all need to see me right quick. I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. That's all. Got everything back in there. Take my box. Take the clean, my clean already used pan, slide it in my box. Y'all know I did something wrong. Let me show you what I did wrong. Look, I tried to put the lid in with the lid thing sticking out right there. So that means I'm going too fast. Let me turn this thing around, start over again. Now I can go ahead and just slide it back in my box. It's in the box. I can seal the, the dang right on up. You know what I'm saying? I can seal it on up. Put my little sleeve back on it. After I done cleaned it all up, I done cooked with it. I done made me a pot roast. I done made some soup. I done made some of any and everything out of this little Dutch oven. I done cleaned it up, put everything back. It's protected in the sleeve. Now I got a places where I can put this. I can put this in my closet for the next use. I can put it in my pantry, but it's out of the way. You see what I'm saying? That's how quick and easy it is to, to at least store those babies, man and keep it moving. So let me do this, MRTV. She says, you had me at the cast iron, my girl. MRTV, like I say, man, I love y'all's channel, man. And if y'all never went to go check out MRTV, I'm telling y'all right now, man, please, go check out MRTV. That's a beautiful channel, man. When I tell y'all that they have me rolling over there, and if y'all ever get to sit down and watch it, y'all watch my boy, Cowboy. <laughs> y'all watch my boy cowboy my girl be over there she look at cowboy man and she give him that look and she be like mm, mm, mm. they be having me rolling over there but let me just say this to you give and it shall be given unto you good measures pressed down shaking together runneth over and with the same measure you meet shall be measured unto you again i want to speak life to you and your husband i definitely man i pray that whatever you guys are seeking as far as your youtube channel goes i pray man that you both will prosper on your youtube channel and i pray man that whatever you guys do man that you will be prosperous as well in all your endeavors so thank you mrtv for your giving you're a beautiful couple man and i just love um both of you guys spirit and how you basically man just keep everybody laughing and I thank you for that. You know what I'm saying? Laughter is good for the soul, and that's what we need. And you can definitely get that type of good medicine watching MRTV. So I love you, sis. Thank you so much. And um, hey, Keto Grand is way. How you doing? Thank you, Keto Grand is way. I appreciate you, sis. Me and this lady, we did a um collaboration not too long ago. 
and she's a beautiful lady as well, man. She got a story behind um, behind her, and I wish that you guys could go over there and check out her channel. So Keto Grand, the same things as I said to the rest, given it shall be given unto you. Good measures pressed down, shaking together, running over with the same measure you meet shall be measuring to you again. May God continue to bless you, not only um, financially or whatever the case may be, but physically, mentally, and also spiritually. Thank you. I really appreciate you. All right. I really do. So no more boots is in the building. What's up? No more boots. That's my baby. How you doing? No more boots. How you doing? Are you being safe, sis? You doing all right? Daddy Cooks is in the building. That's my dude. Y'all go check out Daddy Cooks, man. Y'all know how I do. I'm telling you right now, man, without Daddy Cooks, I don't think that, that this channel would have even been, been up and going because there's a few channels that I watched in the beginning before making YouTube videos. Daddy Cook was one of those. And I do know that um, um, K. Ray, um, was one of those, you know what I'm saying? Um, his channel, and I wish K Ray would just come back, man, and start making videos. I'm for real, man. I love watching K Ray, man. And who else was? Um, it was one more. Um, I told my I can't get the name of it anyway. But between these three guys, man, they're the reasons why I ended up Keith Baytag. That's who it was, Keith Baytag, um, Daddy Cooks, and K Ray, and um. If it weren't for these guys, man, I don't think I would just try to make no videos. But um, y'all go check out Daddy Cooks, and I guarantee you, you're going to find some good stuff over there on his channel. Some of y'all should already be subscribed to him, but some for, for, those, for those of you who are not, please go over, man, and check him out. All right? So while we got this cast iron pot up in here screaming, y'all, look, smoke coming up out of this thing right now. That's another thing, too. Cut your vents on. Cut your vents on in your house. If you had to, open up your windows. I'm only going to let this go for about an hour and 30 minutes. All right? So right now, I just want to say these words to you. This, is, this has been a live that I wanted to show you guys. Let me cut this down right quick because I don't want this to... Um, block out my sound all right so i wanted to show you guys exactly how i season up my cast iron skillets the way that i do it and i love cast iron skillet cooking i think by far man the best pots that you can possibly cook with ever in life is a cast iron skillet matter of fact let me do this real quick let me see if these pans is is what they supposed to be now hold on y'all y'all gonna be with me we're gonna do some experiment hold on we're gonna do this while we on this live hold on y'all hold on let me get y'all down here now i'm opening up this one right now why y'all here we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see if if these pans is a hit or if they are missed for real i'm gonna see right now why I got y'all here? Y'all got time. Do y'all got time real quick? Huh? Come on. Do y'all got time? If y'all have time, let me know. Because I want to see, man, if these things, man, like they say they is. All right, let me open this up. This ain't going to take me no. I just want to see, man, if these pans are, are non-stick. So I'm definitely going to experiment like right now. Now, what's up with this one? I got to put this one together. So look here, y'all. I open up this one. I open up this pan. Now, I ain't never seen nothing like this as far as the pan goes. Look, I open it up. There's a screwdriver. All right. If you can see it, there's a screwdriver in here. And there's the handle. So we got a screwdriver, a handle, and the handle on this sucker is pretty durable. It's a sturdy looking handle. All right, let's see what we got. I just opened this box. This is my first time opening this box. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, let me get my plate too. Hold on, y'all. So I got my plate. 
Okay, let me see. I'm gonna cut this light off, plug that up, and I'm gonna cut this light on again. Got it. But first, you'll have to unlock your device. Oh, shut your mouth. Okay, I got my plate heating up for my oven because I want to do an experiment with these things. I want to see if these things are supposed to be what they say that they are while I got you guys on this live right now. Why not do a live test on these pots? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Because you know I'm not a, I'm not a non-stick type of guy. Now I do have some non-stick pans that I love and I'm gonna show you those pans real quick. So this right here is supposed to be the um, non-stick fry pan. And seem like I got to put the handle on this thing. But hey, I think I can work with it. Now this one probably won't won't get packaged back up and placed back in the um box. But who who knows? Now let me take these out of the sleeve. Boy, they some sturdy stuff. It's it's some sturdy non-stick to be honest with you. Very sturdy. All right, so. It comes in with some with a little user manual. Comes with a little user manual. And on top of that, on top of that, it says um, thank you. And it says get an extended warranty for three years when you register today. So you do have a warranty. It's a three-year warranty that comes with it. A three-year warranty. I know that some of these pans that you buy have like what they might be a lifetime warranty or something. I don't know. I'm just on a guess right now. But it says you will get a three-year warranty instead of the only two-year warranty. Now, the thing about these is that they're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So if you want to check them out, that's what you can do. All right? Check this company out or whatever the case may be. ALT and right now this is the non-stick this is the non-stick frying pan fry pan so now on here it says non-stick um German technology huh that's what they say so let's go ahead man and see if I can assemble this together real quick like the other one it got a nice little handle on the lid and got the little air vent as well on the lid and the octagon shape. I kind of like that. And as you can see the bottom, nice little bottom, man, for even cooking. I like the surface of the bottom. And from what I've understood was is that once this heat radiates, it'll radiate from the center all the way up to the top. You understand what I'm saying? This is what they say. So what I'm going to do now is just take this handle out of the plastic while I got y'all here because we're going to do us a quick experiment with this, y'all. Y'all still with me? Huh? Because I, I, I had no intentions of doing this on live, but I'm like, well, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? This is going to be very quick. So it's only one screw that you have to basically put in. Let me throw all that plastic away. So here's your handle. And it's a nice old sturdy handle. Nice sturdy handle. So the handle goes here, right? Nice. I'm kind of digging this, man. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I'm kind of digging this. So you would drop the screw down. See right up in there? You would just drop the screw. And then you would take the long screwdriver that they provided and just screw this baby. I don't know. Okay. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. Now she in. And look at here. Look at here. That's now. I, I, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking this, y'all. No lie. I am kind of liking this. So what I'm going to do, this is just for experiment purposes. No grease on this. I'm just going to take, I'm going to take a, uh, hold on one minute. Hold on one minute. Now, there's no grease on this. I'm just taking a wet, damp paper towel. Wet, damp paper towel. 
and I got that um, hot plate on. I just want to wipe in here because I figure you want to wipe some of the stuff down in here that once you get new products, you better rinse it or whatever. But I'm not going to eat that egg. I just want to see exactly what this what it's going to do to an egg. All right. So I'm going to turn y'all around over here and I need to get me a, another cord too. see if y'all can see this right quick. There's my hot plate. Can y'all see that hot plate? Y'all with me? Hold on, y'all with me? All right, the hot plate is on high. I'm gonna turn it down to about a medium heat. Let's set that on now. We finna see what this baby gonna do, y'all. Come on in, come on in. We finna see. What y'all think? Do y'all think this might be a hit or a miss? Come and let this get up the heat a little bit. See how quick it heat. And then I want to get my, my little temp gun. Got my temp gun. I want to see. I got my temp gun. I just want to see, man, if this thing really registered out like they said it's supposed to be. Now, here in the center, here in the center right now, it says 155. So this thing is heating. Let me grab me an egg real quick. I got an egg, and I'm just want to grab. I'm gonna just grab some cheese. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see what this thing will do, y'all. I'm experimenting right here. Let me see if I got any other kind of shredded cheese in there. If I got some, can we use all that yesterday on some macaroni and cheese? But hey, I'm gonna see. I'm experimenting, y'all. Okay, now let's do this real quick. Let's see. We got an egg. We got a cheese. The temp on this thing now is what I'm reading at. It says 230. I want to see if you guys can see it. It says like 242 right now in the center. And if I hit it on the side, it says 138 on that side. 138 on that side. 138 on that side. Okay. So this one says 182, and that says, what's that? 180. So I'm wondering if you're getting even heating. 200. Yeah, this pan is heating up. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, she heating up. I mean, all the way up here, she hot. She hot. All the way up there, she hot. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Drop an egg in her. Now, let me ask y'all something. Do y'all crack the egg on the table, flat surface, or do you do the edge break? Do you do the surface break or the edge break? How do y'all break y'all egg? Surface break or the edge break? I, I, just, I just break it. How do y'all break y'all's? Now let me get a spatula. I'm not even gonna touch that egg. I'm not even gonna touch it. See what that egg gonna do. If this, what happened to my non-stick spatulas? I believe my kids and came in my house and got me. Let me look in here one more time. I believe they even came and got me from my non-stick spatulas. Somebody put it in the wrong drawer. Lord bless their hearts. All right. So 
I want y'all to see this real quick. I'm going to turn this around. Look at this. Now, one thing that I'm not liking already, you see how the egg is cooking in the center right there? The center egg is cooking, but look right here. Now, if I hit the temp on it, the temp is 274 right here on the edge. And if I come in the center right here, we're looking at 335. 335. So she cooking here, but I'm but if you look right here, right here, see this egg. I don't know. I'm not gonna mess with it yet. I'm not gonna mess with it. I haven't moved that egg. Now the egg just been sitting here and I got my temperature on medium heat right now. It's on medium heat, so it's not on hot. That's on medium heat, right? Now look at the egg curl up right there. This is supposed to be a non-stick pan. Now, what I'm gonna do, let's see what she do. Look at that, look at that. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Look at that. That's the boy. I don't know. I, I think this might be a cot told my That's without me doing it, y'all. Now you see this? See this on the edge? Now let's see something real quick. Now y'all see when I blew it. Look. Now the egg done busted. Y'all done see that, right? What y'all thinking, man? I'm thinking, I don't know now. This this might be. This might be. This might be a good one. Now look how long that thing been sitting on this on this eye for on medium heat for right now. I'm gonna do something different too. I'm gonna do something now. <sighs> look at that. You can blow and turn that thing up. Now look, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. All right, so you see that white, the yellow? The yellow is running, right? I'm gonna let that continue to cook because I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do something different. Let me grab my trash bag because that thing ain't got me in. I'm impressed. I ain't, I ain't gonna sit here and lie to y'all right now. I'm, I'm impressed with this baby. Look, look at her, y'all. She just sitting there. And, and the only thing that I did was blow to turn that baby over. Let me grab another egg real quick. Hold on, hold on. Let me grab another egg. I'm impressed with this, y'all. Let me grab another egg. I just want to see one more thing. Y'all checking this out with me. We doing this together. I'm experimenting with this sucker. When they say non-stick, I believe, look, and she's still sitting there. She's still sitting there. Now, let's do this, look. Look at that. Look at that egg. I don't know if y'all can see it. But look. Hold up. Let me see if I can do it like this. Y'all can't see it. Y'all can't see it. Hold on one minute. Let me see something. Hold on. Y'all can't see it though, but look. Look at this egg. This egg is cooked. No burns on that sucker. I mean, it's it's a perfectly cooked egg, right? And it's, and it's still going. Now I'm gonna move this egg out the way. Let me get a tray. I'm gonna put this egg in this right here. Look at the egg. God told mighty man. Now, this is what we got. Now what I'm gonna do with my rag at right here. I'm gonna take my rag. I'm gonna take my rag. Now y'all with me now, right? I'm just gonna take it and just rub it and see what this sucker do. Clean it. God, toe mighty. Look at that. 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 Now, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna turn this stuff thing way up high. It's on high heat, y'all. You y'all can see right here. I got it on high heat. The highest heat that it could go. Right now. Right now, it's on high heat. 
Okay. Y'all, y'all looking at this with me. I'm liking this thing. I ain't gonna sit here and tell y'all no lie. I'm liking this pot, bro. I'm liking this pot. That's look at this egg. If you can see this egg, man, you probably can't see it right there. But the egg, man, is cooked perfectly. And I mean, it's a beautiful freaking egg. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And I did not even get the egg bits out of here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna take a pick, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. This is a good pot. Look at that. The egg ain't burnt on the edges. You got a perfectly cooked egg, man. God told mighty. Now, it didn't stick to that. I blew. I blew. I'm talking about blue. And that egg moved and it dang near almost flipped by itself just by blowing it. So I got this on high heat right now, as high as it could possibly get. And it tests out at 325 right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack this egg on high heat. And I'm gonna see what it's gonna do. See if I can sit it in the cell. I'm gonna see what it'll do. I'm, I'm tickled, y'all. That's on high heat right now. I'm gonna let it sit there. I'm gonna let it sit right there. Y'all look, so we're gonna see what it's gonna do. That's on high heat now. This isn't on top of the stove. You know what I'm saying? But this plate is pretty dang on hot because I cook with this plate, y'all. I'm telling you, I know what this plate can do. So this is a good plate, man. I mean, the heat on this plate is real. You could definitely burn something up on this plate if if you ain't sitting there watching it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you could burn something up on this plate if you ain't sitting there watching it. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm freaking impressed with the first egg. And I mean, the burn on that thing. I don't know. I, God, man, I'm impressed, bro. I'm impressed. Now, this is on high heat. I'm not even going to touch this egg. I'm not even going to touch it. Say, pot is on. Pot is a hit. Lord have mercy. It say, God to God, what? <laughs> Remind me of my dad. Lord have mercy. Good God. I'm standing here, just got this thing going. I'm not even going to touch it, y'all. I'm not even going to touch it. Cooking with CJ. Cooking with CJ is in the building. Y'all do me a favor. Go over there, man. Let me just go ahead and bring this back a little bit. Get it in focus. Because, um, see if y'all can see this. Cooking with CJ. What's going on, CJ? How you feeling, man? Y'all go check out Cooking with CJ. When I tell y'all, if y'all want to know how you can cook with a foodie ninja or whatever the case may be, man, with, with some um, with some um, air fryers and good good food or whatever, go over there and check out Cooking with CJ. That brother over there doing the thing up. Telling you, man, go check out Cooking with CJ. You won't be disappointed at all, period point blank, nothing else to be said. Go over there and check them out. Check them out. That's what's good. That's what's good. Who else we got up in here? Biggest World is in the building. What's up, Biggest World? How you doing? You say, um, MRTV said, I bet my skillet better, what is it? Better be egg blowable. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because this is my non-stick skillet right here that I got from Sam's. And I use this non-stick non skillet. I'm going to try this one out too. I'm going to test this baby out. But look how long that's been sitting on high heat. Look how long that's been sitting on high heat. Watch this. <sighs> look, Lord. Y'all see that? Look. <sighs> that's just blowing. <sighs> Get out of here. Get out of here. <sighs> Get out of here. That's on high heat. That's on high heat. Look at this. High heat. It's nothing sticking to that pan. Look, look at the pan. Look at the pan. Nothing sticking to that pan. Now, I'm finna flip this, baby. I'm gonna see if I can flip it if I blow it. <laughs> I'm gonna blow flip it. I'm gonna blow flip it. <sighs> Boy, you better stop playing. That's crazy. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. That's been on high heat now. Let me see what'll happen. Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. 
Now this is a good freaking pan. I ain't gonna, I'm impressed. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I'm 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 impressed with this. I'm I'm impressed. I'm definitely impressed. I didn't put no grease in this, no butter. This is a true nonstick pan right here. I can I can honestly say, man, I'm I'm pleased with this. I'm pleased with this. I right, blow flip. <laughs> Hey, you can blow flip it. You can blow flip it. But I am impressed with this. Look. Now look, what would happen if I bust it? Look at the egg. Look at the egg, y'all. Nice old runny egg. Now, for those of y'all who like a good burger and you want that runny egg texture, there it is right there. This skillet will do exactly what you need to do for that runny egg on your burger. And it's still on high heat. Look at there. See that? Look at there. That's that, is this good for a runny egg? Um, Daddy Cooks, you still in the building? Would you think this would be a good little skillet for a runny egg on a burger? Huh? Look at that! 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 Okay, I'm finna move this one to the side. I'm still doing the test on there. Now let me put my skillet on here. Hold on. That's mine. I like this. I like this. Okay, and it cleans up good. Before I do this, hold on. It cleans up. Look, take your rag and just wipe it on down. Bam. I should be doing infomercials for this company. Damn. I need to do infomercials for this company. I want to know how this thing holds up against um some abrasion, but I ain't about to try it out and find out. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to move this baby to the side. I like that. I'm going to put mine on there. Let me grab an egg. Yo, I like that, bro. This, this right here has fascinated me. Y'all didn't know. Y'all didn't come on here all, come on here for this, hey, did you? Y'all didn't come on here for this. Y'all showed it. Let me see what my baby do right here. Shoot. You better not show me out. You better not show me out. I'm like that mother and came over here and showed up and showed out over here. So we got 259. I'm, I wanted this to get about 200, 325. Cause that's what the other one got to. I want to be fair, y'all. I want to keep it fair. Even though that this right here is in the family, you know what I'm saying? I just want to keep it fair. That's all. Keep it fair. So right now it's at 300. Is at 300 and it's, it's on high heat. Boy, I'm liking this right here setup. I can cook like this for real, man. And you guys can, we can get some live cooking in on this. I like this. 320, 330, 340, and it's going. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're at 340. Keep it honest. Time she hit the skillet, she started sizzling. The other one, it didn't do that. Now I'm going to let her sit and see what she do. Now, this is my nonstick um, skillet pot right here. I'm going to see what she do. It's, um, man, this is wicked. I need to, they need to be paying me for this right here. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. I swear to God. The name of the pan, list the name of the pan. Yeah, um, matter of fact, what I'm going to do on this here live, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop the website on there for you, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to drop the website on there. Then you could go over there and check out um, some of their stuff over there, man, on their website because they got other stuff on their website other than just these skillets and stuff like that. They got, like, mixers, some blenders, some toasters, and stuff like that, man. So I wanted to try out the um, nonstick um, Dutch oven and the um, pan because, for one, they look good. I, I haven't seen nonstick with that type of design and I mean, it, it, that's the thing that draw my attention because with some of these non-sticks, they just like plain Jane non-sticks or whatever the case may be. But these non-sticks was beautiful. And I was like, should I get it? No, it might suck. And so, hey man, <laughs> I don't know. I'm impressed right now. I'm gonna do one more test with that thing because I want to throw some cheese in it and I want to see exactly what it do. Hey, Vegas world, is a thank you for showing us how to blow it. <laughs> 
Vegas world give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed now, shaking together, running it over with the same measure you meet shall be measured unto you again. Thank you, Vegas world, for your giving. And I pray right now that your world be filled with so many blessings that there will not be room enough for you to receive it. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And this egg been sitting here for a minute. And the thing I'm liking about this one, since it's a smaller um, skillet, that it still holds together. Now, I think this one, are they about the same size? Yeah, this one is smaller than this one. So when I did crack the egg in that one, it had a little runoff on it. But with this one, you know what I'm saying, just sit the egg on there. But it's it's been sitting there for the whole time on high heat. Now, I'm going to blow this one and see what it does. I ain't never did this one with this baby. <laughs> Well, she moved. She moved. Now, I want to see how the bottom going to look, y'all. We're going to do a flip. We're going to get a flip. Uh-oh. Now, there's a difference in the flip. See, that's darker versus the lighter. You understand? See the difference in it? With the other one, you got a beautiful looking egg. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This egg is beautiful. But in my pan, you know what I'm saying? This is what country folk like. We like this. I ain't putting no oil or nothing in my pan. And I got this one from Walmart. You know what I'm saying? And not Walmart, I'm sorry, Sam's. And, you know, it was a little good little price on it or whatever. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, I think we might have a prop. Yep, I think we might have a prop. Okay, the problem is it's stuck. It got stuck. I had to free it up. That was the only problem. I had to free it up. So if I look here on this side, you see it's browner. And it don't look appealing as this one does. You know what I'm saying? So if I had to say between the two, oh God, let me get this. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me do this real quick. I'm gonna show y'all something real quick. Hold on. I'm gonna show y'all something real quick. All right, I still got that stove on, and I got my egg in my, in my hand right here. I'm going to do this real quick for y'all. Let me get a couple plates right quick. So bear with me. I right, got a couple of plates. All right, so y'all see the black plates, right? You see the black plates? Now, this egg that I cooked in that um new pan over there, man, I'm going to put that one on this plate, the one that I did on high heat, on high heat, okay? And the one I cooked in my skillet that I had for so many years on this plate. And I want you guys to look at the difference as far as it goes. Now, I let them get it both at the same temperature, 350 some degrees, you know what I'm saying? 40 some degrees. So this is the first one that I cooked. Now this is, it still has this little runny yolk, you know what I'm saying, the runny yolk. And it's beautiful. It's the egg is beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It is beautiful, bro. No joke. No joke. It is beautiful. Okay. Now with this egg, let me flip it because I want to show you. This is how it looked on that other side. All right. Big difference. And if you can see the little crust that's over here, that's hold on because this stove is hot. Stove is hot. Stove is hot. So you got the crust that's on the edges of that. You can see the crust on it. But then when you look at this one, there is no crust on it. You see the difference? There is no crust on it. So when I flip it and you look and you can see it's deep crusted at the bottom, uh, it don't look appealing. You know what I'm saying? But then with this one, you don't see that. 
You see what I'm saying? The egg is yellow. Wow. All right, so we got those. Now that was a test on the eggs. I'm gonna chop them eggs up and put them in some fried freaking rice. I'm gonna do that too, for real. All right. So the next thing I wanna do with this pot right here again, I got that back on the stove and I want that to heat up. It's on high. I haven't turned that, turned that down. It's still on high. I'm gonna take some of this here cheese and I wanna see what this cheese does. You know what I'm saying? Give it the old cheese test. They always do that when it's testing a non-stick skillet. So I'm gonna give it the old cheese test. Y'all still here with me? Y'all good, boy, I swear to God. Y'all could be anywhere else, but y'all right here. So right now the temperature's at 3, 2, 25, um, it's 2, 30. Temperature is going, the temperature is going. Temperature is going, all right. It's on high heat, say fried chicken in the second pan. Now, when you say fried chicken in the second pan, what you mean, the Dutch oven or what? Which one you're talking about? It says, I'm thinking egg sandwiches after the live. You might be, <laughs> girl, you better stop playing with me. Egg sandwiches, huh? shoot. Might be an egg salad sandwich. Cause I sure got me some pickle relish in the fridge with some mayo. Shoot, make me an egg salad sandwich. Chop these bastards on up and throw me some pickle relish and man, and throw them girls on me playing with me. I can probably make me an egg salad sandwich. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't, I ain't beneath no egg salad sandwich. Somebody act like they might be too good for an egg salad sandwich, but I ain't. <laughs> throw that sucker on some toast and I'm all right. I'm all right. It says the blow test, the blow egg test. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's crazy. Exactly. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh man. How can how can the man fry chicken if he didn't take chicken out of the fridge? Well, you know what? You know what? Let me see. I got chicken in the fridge because I'm frying up some chicken today. I'm going to do something with some chicken tenders. And then I think my um, wife wants some chicken legs on the grill. So I got some chicken that's already ready, but I don't want to waste my chicken, though. Not right now, anyway. All right, so I'm going to put this bake. I mean, not the bacon. Lord have mercy. Well, we got 372. It's at 372, y'all, just so y'all can see it. Let me show you. Is it three? What did that thing say? 370, 365. So it's up there, 366. So let's go ahead. I'm going to toss this on here and see what it do. Let's see what it do. Huh. Look at that. Look at that. What's gonna happen? I'ma let it burn. I'ma let it burn. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. This is the cheese test. What's gonna happen now? I'ma let it go. I'ma let it go. I'ma let it go. Say get the blowing. Till. You say get the blowing till. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, Till. I'ma let it keep. I'ma let it keep going though, Till. I'ma let this thing burn. I just want to see how bad it's gonna be. Will it be an easy cleanup, even if it do burn? You see it. She's still going. She's still going. The temperature is 370 degrees. 370 degrees. She's still going. I'm going to let her go. 370 degrees. What do you think? Say grilled cheese, no bread, peanut butter, no jelly, Kool-Aid, no sugar. Sound like a disaster, Miss Harris. <laughs> Miss Harris, sound like a disaster. I'm trying to tell you, 
So that cheese might what? Might land somewhere? And yeah, it might. That ain't no egg right there. But look though, I done sat here and let this thing continue to go and go. I'm gonna see if this pen is, and now it's at 380. It's at 380. All right, let's see. Should I stop it now? Should I, should I take it off the heat now? What y'all think? Take it off the heat now and let it stay a little longer. What do you think? Phil, you still in the building. Daddy cooks. What do you think? Take it off the heat or let it go? Say stay. All right, I'm going to let it stay too. If you say, you say let it stay, I'm going to let it stay. And I'm going on you, Tiff. What'd you say? Move it? Take it out? What? I'm on your call, Tiff. Let it go? Okay. Letting it go? You're still going. We don't need no one to let the mother freaker burn. Burn, mother freaker. Burn. It's burning now, y'all. What y'all think? Tim say, let's take it in away. Say, go ahead. And now, with this, ain't no flipping. All right? So I just want to see if this pot is going to hold up to this here burn cheese. You understand? All right, so we got it off now. Now look, y'all ready? Look. Good. Oh, oh, she good. She good. Oh, she good. Oh, she good. She good. Even with that little residue down there that just fell on there. Look. <laughs> Tell me something. White. 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 Now y'all tell me something. Tell me something. Tell me something. Look at this cheese, y'all. Look at this cheese. Look at that cheese. Man, hold on. This cheese hot. Look. Look, look. Y'all see that? Can you see that cheese? Look at that. Look at this. Look at that cheese. Look at this pan. Look at this pan. Come on. Tell me something. Is this pan worth it? Should I do this one? Should I do this one? No, I ain't gonna do this one. Uh-uh. I ain't about to show my baby off like that. She ain't about to embarrass my baby. No, we ain't gonna do that. But enough is enough. We ain't about to embarrass my baby. Uh-uh. We ain't about that life. She ain't gonna embarrass you, boo. We ain't gonna embarrass my baby like that. Y'all look here. Let me just share this with y'all real quick. Let me unplug this, baby. Now, I sat here and did this, um, this little test on here, y'all. I came in here, and I got 30 minutes for my cast iron skillet. That's crazy, y'all. I done sat here and did this thing with y'all. And um, Vigor with Ray, the company needs you as an ambassador. You selling this bad boy. Hey, Tiff, I'm trying to tell you something right now. I, I'm freaking impressed with this, baby. You understand? I'm freaking impressed with this. And like I say, the quality of it, the handle, and... You know what, I'm gonna I'm break this sucker right back now with this screwdriver. I'm taking this screwdriver, you understand? Let me look up here. I'm taking this screwdriver and I'm gonna break this handle right back now and I'm gonna box this sucker right back up. Ain't nobody using these. Nobody that comes into my house and try to cook, they ain't using these pans. Uh-uh, it ain't going down like that. Cause like I say, I don't know if these things can stand the test of time against abrasion or whatever the case may be or like that, man, then you got somebody who come into your house like these pans right here. 
I got three of these. I got the small one, the medium, and the large one, right? And I keep these separate from my other pans. The everyday pans that we use, they're in this cabinet right over here. The ones that I don't want nobody using, they're in this cabinet right over here on my on my right hand side and i keep these away from everybody because they might come in here man and try to use these things and they they scrape them and use forks in them and don't know how to basically cook in non-stick pans so this is why i keep them over here but these babies these babies right here uh-uh they going in the closet when i need these all i got to do is just pull them out and take the screwdriver and <laughs> Y'all might laugh at me, man. Y'all might laugh at me, but I'm telling you right now, man. I'm trying to tell you right now. They ain't going to screw this pan up. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm, I love this, man. This mug, this mug has impressed me, bro. Now, as far as, you know, like I say, making a, a nice little burger with a runny egg, and some people like that, you know what I mean? If you don't want no ugly egg on your burger or whatever the case may be, that's a good pan to use, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still like, man, this pan can do probably a little bit more as far as sauteing vegetables and everything else that you could possibly do that's in this. Now, here's the thing, this pan will never, listen to what I'm finna tell you, this pan will never replace this pan. I don't care who makes what and how well they make it. This will never replace this. You understand? This is my baby. This is an alternative for these pans, for these pans, not this one. This is an alternative for this pan. Now, I'm just keeping it real. This is just me, y'all. I'm just keeping it real. Some, some places might say that this pan will take the place of all pans that you might have, whether it's a, whether it's a skillet or iron skillet or whatever the case may be. No, I'm, nothing is going to ever take the place of this baby. I can't, I can't see it. I can't see it. Now, frying-wise, I don't know how this thing might do if I fry something in it, I just have to give it a shot. And I like how deep it is. I like how they got it. See how deep that pan is? I like the deepness of it. And this is a frying pan, which means you can do a little bit more in this pan than you will in this one. Now, I did a live not too long ago, and I was cooking some potato, some, some, mm -mm. I was cooking some, um, tomatoes and onions in this one. See, I got the smaller one and I got this one. So in this one, I was cooking tomatoes and onion in this one on live. And for those of y'all who watched the live video, you seen how some of the juices from the um, tomatoes and onions was coming off from the side and it was falling on the glass top counter. You know what I'm saying? But then when I look at this and how deep it is, I don't think I would have that problem with the juices escaping from the side as with this one, you feel me? So this might be a benefit, you know what I'm saying, as far as cooking um, dishes or whatever like that. But these I got from, good. I mean, um, these I got from Sam, Sam's Club, you know what I mean? And I love these pans as well. These were like my first ones, um, blackened salmon and all kinds of stuff that I've done in these, which, I love, you know what I mean? Now, if I do a blackened salmon in this, I got to ask a question. My question would be, how beautiful would that meat come out? Because I know how good that egg came out and that cheese, the cheese did a non-stick thing. And I mean, that cheese, boy, I'm, I'm impressed with it. I'm impressed with that pan, all right? So, I just want to tell y'all, man, you know what I mean? I'm going to put the description, any description on this live. I'm not going to get rid of this live. I'm going to keep this live up. So if you guys want to pretty much find out, you know, more about these pans, and this is the, this is the Peak 8 nonstick um, fry pan, and then I have here the Peak 8... This is the Peak 8 nonstick 
Dutch oven. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave the description below for you guys, man. If y'all want to try these little pies out for yourself or whatever the case may be, and um, therefore, you can get a, a vibe or a feel if that's something you want. Now, as it goes with me, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm in love. I'm in love with, with, with a nonstick fry pan. I am so in love with this baby. I, I didn't, I'm about to cheat. On, I'm, I'm about to cheat because I'm getting rid of I ain't gonna get rid of that pan. I just probably won't cook more in that one, but I'm gonna definitely cook a lot in it. You my new baby. Welcome to the family. You're here to stay. You ain't going nowhere. Yes, you have taken the place of somebody else. And I, I say, welcome. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love this pan, baby. But anyway, <laughs> that's a good pan, y'all. Look, so I got this thing going now, man. It's like for 22 minutes in the oven. Ooh, y'all. And she she is heating up like a mug. She turning that darker color already. And I got it at 480 degrees. And um, y'all hear that? I open up that daggone door. Hold on. Now, did y'all hear that sound? Let me tell you something right now. Y'all, let me look right here. If you're seasoning up your pan, your cast iron skill is in the house. And if you open up your oven door, and if you do not hear that sound, you are not seasoning up your pan. Listen to what I just said. If you are seasoning your cast iron skillets or pots or pans, and if you're doing it the proper way, if you open up that oven door, and you do not hear the sounds of bells chirping in your house, then that means you're not doing your pans any justice. <laughs> Y'all, you better stop playing with me. He says, Daddy Cook says, I am on my computer now. <laughs> I was on my phone. That's what's up, man. All right, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Um, Put the description box where any description I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a put the the, the link to these here um pans or whatever the case may be, man. Hopefully, like I said, you guys could give these things a try. Let me see if they got something on these right here that you could do. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Is there questions? This is this is what you could do. Here's an email, ahomeplus.com. www dot a as in apple home plus dot com if you can see it let me get it in right like quick hold on can you see it no how about that can you see it can y'all see it screenshot it screenshot it right now screenshot it screenshot it and then you could go right here too all right, let me get a, get a good view for you right there. Screenshot it. You got it? Y'all got it? Y'all got it? Y'all got it? Do you got it? I hope you got it. I hope you got it. I hope you got it. How, is this pan warm still? That'll be another thing to see how cool this pan really gets once you take it off. And then you know how some pans, they warp. Some of these things they warp whenever you do them, and I feel, I'm telling you, y'all, the handle on this thing feels so good, and it's not hot. You know what I'm saying? The handle is not hot. Now, this is one thing I do like about this one. Hold on. Now, this is what I like about these these right here, these pans. What I like more about these pans is that I can cook on the stove with these. And I can also cook in the oven with these because all I had to do was just slide, slide the silicone sleeve off, right? And I could just slide the whole thing in the oven. Oh, my God. These pans are perfect. You know, baby, you can't nothing replace you. I'm sorry. I, I said that. I said that. And I, I apologize for saying that. You know what I'm saying? Because it can't really nothing replace you because you can do so many things that basically – other pans might not be able to do. I probably can't put this one in the oven, but I could definitely, man, put you in the oven. So you know you are always, you always have a place here in my heart. 
You understand? So yeah, this one, you could definitely sear up something, man. And if you had to, you could slip this one right in the oven by taking off the silicone handles. This is what I love about this pot, right? And the um, medium pot, you could do like, do that one as well. I'm gonna have to do some research on this one just to see if it's um, oven safe. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not sure about the handle. I'm not sure about that. You know what I mean? But definitely cooking wise, this one cooks a little bit more better than the other one do. So I'm tickle pink about that. Now, what I am gonna do is this real quick while I got you guys here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I did with the other one. Um, I'm gonna take the screwdriver. If you can see, taking the screwdriver and I'm putting the screw driver right back in there. And I'm gonna give it a nice little turn because I didn't tighten it up. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to screw this baby out. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this thing, man, back in its rightful place. You know, there's the screw. There's the screw. You know. Oh! There's the screw with the washer. And I don't think you need to do this. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to do this. You feel me? I'm going to do this. This is just something that I want to do. And I want to take this, place it in the bag that it came in with. You know what I'm saying? In the bag. And then I want to also take the lid and place that back into the bag as well. And I want to take the box from which it came out of. And I want to put the pot in that, you know what I mean? Put the lid also back in its proper place and take the other styrofoam, put it in there, you feel me? And let's see what we got here. I don't wanna mess this one up cause this one is different too. You gotta get it right. You gotta get it right. All right, then we'll slide this back in the box. And then I'm gonna take the handle and slide her back in the place which, from which she came. I love this. Then I'm gonna take the screwdriver and the screw I'm gonna set inside the handle so I never lose that baby. Put the screwdriver back in there and I'm gonna box her right on back on up. If you can see, I'm boxing her back up. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna store her in the closet. And when I need her, she's definitely gonna come back out because that's a quick and easy um, breakdown and keeping her safe from all the elements because sometimes, man, when y'all be putting pans in the in your pan cabinet, you just slamming junk. You don't know if you're destroying your pans or what. Put the sleeve back on it and she ready to go. So I'm going to leave, like I said, I'm going to leave the information for these pots in there again. So we got, breaking it down one more time, recapping it. We got the peak eight Okay, let me get up here, y'all. Hold on, hold on. So we got the PK um, fry pan, all right? Beautiful fry pan. Definitely, man, I'm gonna try more stuff into that. And then we got the PK nonstick um, Dutch pan, okay? So definitely, man, we're gonna try more stuff into this one as well. I'm excited about these pots, for real, for real. So this has been one of the best freaking reviews possibly, man, 
that I could give you guys, man, live right here on Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. I told you we going live, baby, and we're going to do some good things while we're going live. So y'all prepare yourself, man, because we're going to do more live videos, and I want to do more live reviews, whether it's going to be on products such as this or even seasonings or whatever the case may be. If you like this live, this is your opportunity to tell me right now. Listen, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Y'all will not hurt my feelings. I need your honesty. Just like if I give y'all guys a review or whatever, y'all want my honesty. But I need your honesty right now. How did you like this live? Did y'all like this live? You know what I'm saying? If you like this live, do me a favor and hit, um, what can I say? Hit L if you like it and hit no or N if you didn't like it. And it, you're not going to hurt my feelings, but it would let me know exactly what I need to do in the future. So if you like this live, hit L. If you didn't like this live, hit N. You understand? Come on, somebody. This was a great live, period. Thank you so much, MRTV. I love you. I love you. you Ails, thank you so much, um, No More Boots. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Daddy Cooks, thank you, thank you. Chi Chi, thank you, thank you. Big Blue, thank you. Vicky's World, thank you. Rocky say, excellent. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Mutt Bangs and Things is in the building. Y'all go do me a favor. Go check out Mutt Bangs and Things. If you like somebody, man, there's a lot of Mutt Bangers that's on here. You understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of Mutt Bangers. I have my favorites. You understand? So two of my favorites that I do have, Mutt Bangs and Things is one of them. Y'all need to go over there, man, and check out Mutt Bangs and Things. And I guarantee you, if you check out her Mutt Bang, you won't be disappointed. You understand what I'm saying? Just go check her out. See what she's about. And I'm like this, y'all, even though that a lot of YouTubers who I like watching or whatever the case may be, man, might not do the same thing that I'm doing or might not be in my niche, which is cooking, but I enjoy their content. This is what I love. All right. Supporting each and every one that I'm able to support, regardless of what they are doing. You know what I'm saying? I watch people, man, who sit around and don't do nothing but just play with. um. What, what's that stuff, man? That, that that that's um. what is it called, man? Oh, man. What is it, man? That, that stuff that our kids be playing with, that stretches and all the other kind of stuff where people be making stuff out of that Play-Doh and all the other kind of stuff. I watch, I even watch some of them YouTubers. You understand what I'm saying? So with the ones that I love watching, those are the ones, man, that definitely I'm going to support regardless, even, the, even though they're not doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. You feel me? So... Let's just be supportive one to another. So Muck Bangs and Things definitely has a beautiful and awesome YouTube channel. And if you guys are into Muck Bangs, please go over there and check her out. All right. And um, yeah, thank you, Ma um, Mama Ray Ray. Please leave a comment after this here video live is over with. All right, y'all, because I'm about to get on up out of here. If y'all could just give me 10 minutes, this thing will be done in 10 minutes. I swear. I I'm, I'm telling y'all, just give me 10 minutes. I know I've been on here long, and 10 minutes mean I have complete two hours on here, but during that time, I took y'all to a place where you've never been before, and a place I've never been before, reviewing some products right here on YouTube. I did it live, y'all. If y'all like stuff like that, man, let me know, and I'll definitely do these again. Um, they'll be quick and something, um, something quick and easy for you guys. Like I still say, I got some seasonings that I would love for you guys to check out. And for some of these people, man, who have created these seasonings, some might be um, – private entities or some might be some corporations or whatever like that but i guarantee you you're definitely gonna love what i have to show you because i've tried these products and i love these products and they will definitely be in some of my up and coming videos all right but i do have a video that i'm going to release and i'm trying to release it today and i don't know about y'all man but i like a steak i like a good pan fried steak you understand what i'm saying and i'm going to show you guys how i do one of my pan fried steaks, the easy, simple way, you know what I mean? Not trying to have y'all to go out here and buy all this and buy all that. Nope. But it's going to be an easy, simple recipe while I'm pan searing some ribeye steaks. And I guarantee you, if you try this recipe, you just might get you something 
from that loved one that you've been wanting for a long time. The belly is how you get what you want. If you feed somebody good food, I guarantee you, man, I guarantee you, all you have to do is just ask. You serve them up some good food, whatever you want, you're going to get it. But if you try these steaks, and ladies, if your husband loves some steaks, trust and believe me, try this recipe that I got coming up, and you will definitely get exactly what you want if you put on that negligee along with everything else you could definitely get more than what you want i'm just saying but anyway i'm gonna read some of these comments just give me eight minutes real quick eight minutes so um we got mukbangs and things say easy simple yet delicious thank you boo and then vigas world can't wait for it um i love a good steak vigas world you definitely gonna love this steak girl i ain't gonna lie to you now i'm gonna tell you you're gonna love it you're gonna love it and i got people man who i had to cook these steaks for some people like their steaks dang near bloody you got to cater to folk like that. That's how they like them. They like their steaks dang near bloody. However they want them, that's how you prepare them. So I had to fix these steaks for people. And some like them like uh, almost living. Some like them where they just all about dead and can't, can't live no more. What I mean by that, they just like a man to where there is no blood, period. No pink blood in them whatsoever. That's how some people like their steaks. But I'm not one to judge nobody of how they like their steaks. I'm just going to give them to them the way that they want them. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just going to show you exactly how I pan sear the steak. And I do have a technique on there that you would definitely love to keep that steak from curling up whenever you're pan frying it. So I'm going to show you that technique in the video. And I'm hoping, man, that you guys and gals will give this recipe a try and give me your feedback. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's simple stuff. It's stuff that you probably already have in your cabinet but I know if you don't have it in your cabinet all you have to do is go to Ross Ross is the boss so I already told you exactly what was going to yeah I got a couple in there that's from Ross I love Ross y'all anyway let's see who else we got over here um doo -doo 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 -doo. T and Re show what up T and Re show church you better say it. Give me six minutes, y'all. Six minutes, and I'm going to give me some of these pads, man, to take this hot skillet up out of here. And I'm going to tell y'all something right now. With that test, I ain't going to eat these eggs, y'all. Look at that bacon. Look at that. I'm going to call this thing bacon. Look at that cheese, though. That cheese is burnt. Look at that cheese. That pan did a good job. No lie. That pan really showed up and showed out and i'm like i said i'm gonna leave the description below I'm trying to clean up some of this stuff y'all y'all forget um i'm gonna leave the description below for you guys to try out some of this stuff now was the audio okay was the video okay because i'm still playing around with this stuff because i'm tweaking and i seen how i did the um the thing with the hot plate and and the um, pan on the on the hot plate. I think I might end up doing more live cooking videos like that. And hey, it just yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that, man. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. So let's see. It says Mukbang say yes. I love shopping at Ross for cookware. And um and look Mukbangs and things. If you go to Ross, man, I'm telling you, man, check out some of their seasonings that they got in there, man. My God. Ross, man, has surprised me. They have surprised me, really, man, with the um, selections of seasonings that they have on their um, on their shelves. Their spices, man, they have really surprised me because to me, they have some of the best selections that you can't even find in the grocery store. And that's real talk. That's real talk. Um, Lisa Jones. Hey, Lisa Jones. How you doing? How you doing? Lisa, welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Who else we got? Biggest World say everything was good, Ray. Sound and video. Thank you so much for that, Lisa. I really appreciate that. That's what I need. Vernell say cook macaroni and cheese in that pan and see what it does hmm 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 i'm picky about that though man because there's a way that i cook my macaroni and cheese and i try to keep it 
I'm a, I, I have to do another macaroni and cheese video because I only got one macaroni and cheese vi video on my YouTube channel. Now, the way that I do my macaroni and cheese, I have went live a few times showing two types of ways of making macaroni and cheese, but I need to do a regular video of a macaroni and cheese. All right. And um, I'm telling y'all right now, man, the way that I make my macaroni and cheese, I don't think I would use one of these pans to do it in because, you know, if you find if you find a technique that works and you get good results out of it, I think that's the technique you should stick with. Now, that's just me speaking personally. You know what I'm saying? That's just me speaking personally um, with these pans. I could try something in there like some stew beef to see how that stew beef would work in it. Um, as far as making the roux for the macaroni and cheese, I don't think I would want to do it in that. But I see though, I could, I could always experiment. I could experiment. I could definitely see how it would work. I can experiment. I could do that one day. You know what I'm saying? I could definitely do that. So let's try that. You know what I mean? I'm about tempted to try it right now. Don't don't tempt me. Um, don't tempt me. I'm about ready to try it right now. Why? Because this is what I got. Let me show you why I can say that. All right, where are you at? Abos. Oh, she used them things yesterday, did she? Yes, she did. Man, my daughter used my macaroni yesterday. But I'm about I'm about tempted though, man. I believe she did use it yesterday. Yep, she did. So what I do is this. I can experiment in that thing, man. Do a live and experiment in this pan making macaroni and cheese. Mm, I can hope that, it, that it'll turn out okay. You know what I'm saying? But baking it, no, nah, I don't think I could bake it. Not in that. You know what I mean? Making it stovetop, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to throw something up in the air on that one. So how many minutes we got? Give me two more minutes, y'all. Two more minutes. Y'all see how I'm prolonging this one. I'm keeping y'all entertained to, to the next two minutes. Live stream. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. KK say everything was okay. Even the lighting wasn't bad, right? Thank you, KK. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And you don't know how much I love you, girl. I love you. Vanille, he say, um, I have turned... I have turned everybody on to Ross ever since I was a little girl and say um, that was my store then and now. You better say that. You better say it. People be slipping on Ross, man. I got my I got my grown daughters going to Ross, man, to buy seasonings and stuff like that. And let's see. Mama Ray Ray, she's speaking out. That's what I'm talking about. I love that woman. They say do a cornbread. Nora, I'm gonna do that for you though. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a cornbread recipe for you though, but I'm gonna do you a cornbread recipe in the um skillet. So look for that recipe within about the next coming couple of weeks or whatever like that, because I'm definitely gonna drop that. That's one video that's been on my mind for a long time, man. Doing a cornbread recipe um in the skillet, and I'm pretty sure, man, that um y'all would love it. So if you got any tips and well, any recipes that you would like for me to try that's that sound that's that sound it's time to take it out but if you got any recipes that you would like for me to try and i'm like this y'all i'm i'm a southern cook you know what i'm saying i don't cook stuff that's crazy outlandish or whatever the case may be if it has to deal with southern cooking i believe i could try to cook it for you you understand if there's something that you would like to see that's dealing with Southern cooking or Southern cuisine or soul food or Southern dishes or whatever the case may be, please hit it in the comment. And what I'll try to do, man, is I'll copy and paste your comment. And then from there, I put it into a list of, of what people would like for me to try out. And then once I try it, I would definitely tag that comment into the video of letting people know that it is a request from whoever, you understand? And then try to get that video out. But definitely within about a couple of weeks, I'm gonna try to do that cornbread recipe for you. Now let me get these things out of the oven and show you how they look real quick, all right? Now I'm gonna show you how I'm working here. I'm gonna cut the stove off first. All right, cause I set the oven at 480 degrees. Now this is what I'm gonna do. 
call me a, a wuss or whatever the case may be, I don't care at this particular point in time because I'm gonna be that wuss. This some hot iron, you understand? So I got, <laughs> I got me two, two minutes, baby. You come on, you come on to mess with me. <laughs> You come on and act like you want some of this if you want. Boy, I put it on you, boy. I seen Sugar Ray Leonard when and do that cha 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 cha. Yeah, okay. I look like I, I look like I'd be a good boxer, don't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, you call me a wuss if you want. I'm going in there just like this right here, boy. I ain't lying. And I'm taking me two of these babies too. Cause there's some hot iron, boy. There's some hot iron. We ain't playing with that. Now hold on, hold on, I gotta fan these, these, watch it, the sound. Watch the sound, watch the sound. I gotta hurry up, cause she gonna go off. Okay. So I'm gonna take these out. And I say these babies hot. Yes sir, she ready. That's that color right there. And that's that lid. She ready too. Uh, yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show y'all real quick. Um, how can I show you? Hold on. Let me do this real quick. Let me set this. I'm setting up. I'm setting, moving stuff out of the way. So I'm gonna put these down because I don't want them things on my counter. And I'm gonna take y'all and I'm gonna turn y'all around right here. Okay. Hopefully you can see my mittens laying right here because this is where my pan is gonna lay across if you can see that. Okay. And I wanna take, the first thing is gonna be the lid. So if I'm going to take the lid, I want to take these like this so I can get that lid to lay across it. Told you she, she hot. And I mean, she fiery hot too. All right. So this is my lid. Now, as you can see with the lid, I'm gonna show you something real quick. Where my rag at? Let me find my rag. Now with the seasoning part, you can see that things start to get baked. Now I gotta get a knife or something. See if I get a knife to show you real quick. This is what you'll be looking at. See that? See that? You probably can't see it. But if you do it right, you'll see, see that right there? If you do it right, you have little stuff like that, residents, resin coming from off of your, your pan. Now, when you get it like this, right, the only thing that you want to do now is you, it's hot. Now, I'm telling you, y'all, this is like hot. This thing is fire. Let me show you something right quick. But I like doing it when it's hot. Right now, this thing is at 350 some degrees. 350 some degrees. So you use caution whenever you're doing this. All right, I still like taking just a little dab of grease. Now this is just the lid. You don't have, to. matter of fact, hold on before I do that. I'm about to do something that I ain't supposed to do. Don't worry about the outside, greasing the outside. It's the inside that you want to grease. It's the inside, not the outside. Outside is fine, okay? But you look for the resin that you might see that's in the pan. Like over here, you got some that's over here. Try to get that stuff out. But other than that, you'll be all right. That's just some of the, um, that pre-season stuff that's burning off that some of the factories then put in. Now, if you take a look at that screw, see how that screw got that color? It can't, it was silver. If you look, that's what you, that's what you want. That's what you want. That lets you know that you season that pan up pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So it was um a little lighter than this. So I want to take my dish rag. 
because I'm not going to take no napkins. Why? Because this thing is hot. Hear it? Did you hear it? Take my dish rag and just run it. It's hot. Don't worry about it. It's hot. Now, that's all you want to do with that. That's a seasoned lid. She ready. She fired up. She good. Move her back on the stove and let her cool. Now we're going to take our bottom end of the pot and the same thing. All right. So as far as the resin goes, we good on that. Yep, we good. All right. So you're going to take us some grease. Now, this is chicken grease. A lot of times, man, people don't like using the pork, the pork fat to season up their cast irons or whatever the case may be. But I'm only doing this for those who don't like the pork products or whatever like that, man, because I do have some lard up under that cabinet. You know what I'm saying? Or you could just do it in some bacon grease, some hog jowl or whatever the case may be. It, it, all that'll work. But for those who are pork conscious minded and you want to use some skillets, some cast iron skillets, but you don't know how to season it up other than what you might have on hand as far as grease goes, you could definitely use chicken grease. All right. Now, like I say, with that stuff that they sell in the stores, you could just leave it on the shelf, man, and just use some chicken grease or some fat, pork fat or whatever like that. It'll be just as good. And that's a seasoned skillet right there. That's a seasoned skillet. All you got to do now, man, is just move this suck over to the side, let it cool. She ready to cook in right now, y'all. She ready. She is ready. Nothing to be played with right here. So I'm going to move that over, place that on top of the stove, and she's done. Let me pan y'all back over here, and I'm going to say these words to y'all real quick. All right. I want to first and foremost say thank you so much, man, for checking out Ray Mass Kitchen and Grill. I hope you really enjoyed these here videos. I had really no intentions of doing a review on these pans, but I'm glad I did because that right there I don't have to worry about anymore because it's a, it's a done deal. And even with um, you guys staying here and you're watching some of the, you know, the tips and tricks dealing with the eggs and the cheese, I believe, man, that the pan, the new pan, with these um, P8 nonstick fry fry pan, it was a success, and I'm definitely going to be cooking into this thing a little bit more. But um, I'm liking the fact that I can store these things on my shelf, put them up, so there will be no damage done to it, or whatever the case may be. Now with the cast iron skillets, if you go out and you find somebody, man, who has a cast iron skillet and they just sitting it, you know, they, it's just sitting around. They're not using it. It even might be rusty or whatever the case may be. Ask the person. Let me look right here. Ask the person if you could have that skillet. Trust and believe me. If it's rusty to where it look busted and disgusted, you still take it. There's a way that where you can restore these pans. And I'm telling you right now, man, um, I'm, I'm finding myself finna make some room in my cabinets right now just for cast nine skillets because I find out that they are the best thing to cook with. All right. So I want to say thank you so much, each and every one of you who are here right now. And we got 96 people in the building and I've been on this thing now for two hours and seven minutes. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your busy schedule watching this here live. I greatly appreciate you until we meet again. If God grants us breath in our bodies to where we could join one another's hand again up in, in, in in a new life, I'm hoping, man, that we can, um, I can show you new things, all right? Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. This is your boy, Ray Mack. And before I sound out, I always say this at the end of every live video. Every live video, I always say this. If you are able to help an elderly person, no matter where they might be, they could be in your neck of the woods. They could be in your neighborhood. They could be down the street next door. If you run across an elderly person in a grocery store, a convenience store, a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Try your best. Be a blessing to the elderly person. If, if something touched your heart to where you could bless them, um, by paying for their groceries or buying some type of toiletries for them or whatever the case may be. You just don't know. 
it will definitely help. I always say this, give to be a blessing, but don't give to receive a blessing. All right. And I, I love you guys, man. And please, whatever you do, love yourself, love life and love people. And if nobody told you today that they love you, let me be the first one to say it. I love you. And it ain't nothing in this world you could do about it. All right. So peace. You have a great day. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Now I got to see how I turn this thing off in live stream. Goodbye, my beautiful family. I love you. And I love you. And I love you.